Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta. And today I will explain how to plot ROC curve using gradient boost train 9. Gradient boosting is a powerful machine learning algorithm used for both regression and classification problem. It is an ensemble method that combines multiple weak models to create a strong model. The basic idea behind gradient boosting is to sequentially add new models to the ensemble each of which corrects the error made by the previous models. The final model is then a weighted sum of all the models in the ensemble. The algorithm starts with a simple model such as this is entry and trains it on the training data. The errors made by this model are then calculated and a new model is trained to correct this error. This process is repeated iteratively with each new model focusing on the errors made by the previous models. Say so for example, we are having uh, this data set on which we run the algorithm. After running the algorithm, the two classes have been segregated. But there is a, some misclassification which has happened. In this red, among these red dots, we are having some blue dots. And among these blue dots, we are having some uh, one red dot. So this is a misclassification which has occurred. Now what we will do, we will increase the weights of this misclassified observation. And this process will be iterated quite a number of times until we get a final classifier in which the proper classification is done of both the groups. So this is the area under the curve for, for, for each classifier which will be ensemble and which will be get the total ensemble model. Now uh, we want to generate the ROC curve which, uh, which will also give us the area under the curve. So AOC is a measure of the overall performance of the classifier, which ranges from 0.5 to 1. The higher the AOC, the better is the classifier at distinguishing between the two classes. The accuracy of the test depends on how well the test separates the group being tested into those with and without the disease in the question. So if you get an AOC between 0.90 to 1, it is excellent, 0.80 to 0.90 good, 0.70 to 0.80 fair, 0.60 to 0.70 poor, and if it is below 0.6, the model is failing. A receiving operating characteristics curve is a graphical representation of the performance of the binary classifier system, such as logistic regression, as its discrimination threshold is varied. The ROC curve plots the true positive rate against the false positive rate at various threshold settings. So you can see here, uh, the dark diagonal line is the, is the line of no model or it is, the, it is a line of just a random guess. The ideal model is when the line overlaps the y-axis and overlaps the x-axis. That is, it goes straight on y and straight on x. That is the ideal thing, where our classification accuracy is 100%, which we can never achieve. So, we are having two models here, method one and method two. Method one is having more area under the curve, which means that its classification accuracy is better in comparison to method two. Now let's see how we can plot ROC curve in nine. So we'll activate from here. CSV reader. We'll browse. The data set which is in CSV format. Part one, open, okay, right click on it and execute. Now again right click on it and see the file table. This file table consists of many variables. We want to classify the heart disease on the basis of age, resting blood pressure, cholesterol and maximum hours of exercise. I'll activate the column filter from here. Right click on it and configure. I'll take all the variables on left hand side. Age, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, maximum hours of exercise and heart disease. Click OK. Right click on it, execute. Now right click on it and you can see the filter table where we are having only those variables from which the model is, is to be created. But we can see uh, that these variables, these variables are on different scale and it is necessary that we should normalize it. So I'll activate the normalizer from here. 
right click on it configure normally mean max normalization is used right click on it and execute now i'll activate the partitioning of the data set where the data will be divided into training and testing data so partitioning right click on it configure 80 percent view will be used for training 20 percent will be used for testing Stratification of the sampling will be done according to the target variable hard disease. Right click on it and execute. Now I will activate the gradient boost learner from here. The so gradient boost tree learner. Right click on it, configure. Make sure that the hard disease is our target variable. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Activate the gradient boost tree predictors and connect this so remaining 20 percent will be used for prediction 80 percent is used for training right click on it configure change production column prediction column name click ok right click on it and execute now again right click on it and you can see the output data so in the previous video we had discussed how to generate the classification accuracy. In this video, we are going to see the ROC. So, activate the scorer from here. Right click on it, configure. So here, our disease is on, click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and view the confusion matrix. So the classification accuracy, which we have got is 69%. But we want the ROC curve. So activate the ROC curve from here. Right click on it, configure. Now activate the hard disease here. Press it yes. Uh, click OK, just a minute. Uh, we will uh, configure. We require here the prediction yes and no. So for this, what we'll have to do, we'll go back here configure and append so let's say probabilities of yes and no click ok okay right click on it execute again right click on it and configure yes we are having it now so we'll check all these variables on left hand side and only include the probability of yes click ok still we are having a cross here uh, configure general plot options create image at plot Click OK, right click on it, execute. Again, right click on it and see the image. Quite good. So, the area under the curve is 0 0.755. So, what is the interpretation? The AOC value of 0 0.755 in an ROC curve indicates that a gradient boost, I'll write down here, gradient boosting algorithm, gradient boost tree has a moderate level of discriminative power in distinguishing between the positive and negative classes. An AOC point of 0.755 suggests that a model have a moderate ability to correctly classify positive instances as positive and negative instances as negative. In other words, the model prediction is much better than the random chance, but there may be many misclassifications or overlap between the two classes. So this is the way you can generate ROC curve in NIME. For more videos on NIME, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos on NIME.